right, after the practice today, Kelly was asking me about exercises she could do to improve the uh, connecting the butt and hips to the shoulders and torso and eventually the paddle. Um, she was really struggling in the boat and this may happen with different people. It takes a different explanation to you know, make an idea click. <clears throat> so I learned something today from Kelly just in maybe a better or an additional way to teach people about twist and connecting the butt and the hips to your torso and eventually to the paddle. So this is a typical uh, pulley rope in any gym. And what you do instead of grabbing with two hands and pulling that lunging like this, we're gonna do a twist which should mimic any good stroke. And what you wanna do is get a nice bend in the legs like this, like surf ski or one man. And private gym. Yeah. You get just enough weight that you can control it. And you're gonna do reach that catch. And it's just a short movement right here. <clears throat> All generated down low. Down here in my hips and my butt. If you notice, I'm coming. My elbow comes to my hips and stop. I'm not pulling back here to try and get more power and leverage. This is not an arm exercise. So, you also want to try and touch your toes with your shoulder and your butt. That'll put you in a nice catch position and then explode through opening up your chest to the other side of the stroke. So, you should be able to see my chest and my back in every stroke. If there was actually a blade in my hand, it would look similar to this. Now this isn't gonna identically you know, match a stroke, but it's gonna come really close. And what we're trying to stress here is the explosion down low, the elbow to hip, and the short power phase of the stroke all up front from your toe to about your knee and exit. Here's the exercise from the other side. Same thing. Watch the legs pumping, creating the twist. Okay? Anchor those feet down and really push the butt back and forth. On every stroke in the video, you should be able to see first my chest at the opening. And then my back, you should be able to kind of read the letters on the back of my shirt. Alright, I hope that helps, and uh, you can catch this on YouTube.